a Try My Talent promo, and another student spotlight. All of this and more on CHTV. Darling, Good morning, Greyhounds. I'm Ireland Jones, back again with your CHTV News. Before we begin today's show, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and stay standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. To kick off today's show, here is a video from Carmel's very own Pinnacle Yearbook with a special announcement. Thanks to Yearbook for that video. Now let's check in with our weather anchor, McKinley Woodward, for a we weekend weather update. Thanks, Ireland. Today we will have a high of 82 with tomorrow and into the weekend getting a little cooler than that. Expect storms tomorrow, followed by more rain Saturday morning. Next week we will continue to have warmer weather to finish out our last full week of school. This has been McKinley Woodward. Now let's send it back to news. Two, one. Thanks, McKinley. In other news, CHTV's summer prints dug deeper into how to make money as a broke teenager. Let's take a look, then we will send it over to entertainment with Michael and Ryan. Are you broke and lazy? Well, if you are, here are three easy ways to make money as a tired teenager. One, get paid to recycle. As crazy as it sounds, this is actually a real thing. And you can quite literally do this on your phone. By downloading iScrap, you can actually sell scrap metals and other recyclable goods for cash money. 2. Sell old or not used clothing and books. I'm talking about that dusty bookshelf and the sweater with the tag still on. You can do this by using the free app Ziffit to sell your books. And free apps like eBay and Depop are perfect spaces to sell books, clothes, and really anything you want. 3. Make money off of your hobbies and what you're interested in. If you love sports, you can become a ref, coach, or private trainer. And if you're crafty, don't hold back on selling some of your creations. There are hundreds of hobbies that can be used to make money. Good luck in your money-making process. Michael Speck. And I'm Ryan Powell here with your CHUV entertainment update for today. Starting off today's update, wish the musical cast Tech and Orchestra luck on opening night tonight at 7 o'clock with The Hunchback of Notre Dame. They have another show tomorrow at the same time and two on Saturday, one at 2 p.m. and the other at 7 o'clock. Everyone has worked super hard to make this show into something spectacular, so be sure to go and support. Also coming out tomorrow is a sequel to the game Breath of the Wild, and that's called Tears of the Kingdom. This game has built up large anticipation due to the great success of the original game. More recently, the third Guardians of the Galaxy movie came out on the 5th and it's performing very well with a Rotten Tomato rating of 82%. Are you planning on watching the movie or trying the game? I'm definitely planning to go see the movie at some point. On a different topic, CHTV's Kaylee Schultz, Hannah McNally, and McKinley Woodward all decided to switch talents for a day. Here's a quick preview. Hello, I'm Hannah McNally and I'm a swimmer here at Carmel High School. Hi, I'm McKinley Woodward, and I'm in show choir here at Carmel High School. Hi, I'm Kaylee Schultz, and I'm in cross country here at Carmel. Since we're all involved in different things here at Carmel, we wanted to try out each other's activities and see what it's like. I'm a swimmer, and I tried show choir. 
I'm in show car and I tried cross country. I'm in cross country and I tried swimming. Let's see how it went. First, I had McKinley teach me show choir dance. So Hannah, you just finished learning the dance. How do you feel? Tired. <laughs> Next, I ran a 5K with Kaylee. Let's see how it went. I don't want to ever run again. Finally, I had Hannah show me how to swim. I'm not feeling great, actually. There's so many things to try at Carmel High School. I hope that this encouraged you to try something new. Thanks guys for that. To check out the full video, go to CHTV's YouTube page. To stay on the topic of talent, CHTV's Natasha Joy interviewed Jaden Wilson about his singing talents at his church. Let's take a look. My name is Jaden Wilson. I'm in 12th grade and I'm doing online at Indiana Wesleyan. Uh, my grandpa and grandma were always a part of the church and I always loved the music ever since I was really young. Just loved listening to music and just seeing all the lights and stuff. You know, eventually that would grow into more of a relationship with Christ. It's a way for me to connect to God and just be in His presence. My experience um, as being a worship leader has really impacted my spiritual growth. It allows me to just sit in His presence. It's a way for me to connect. You know, worship can be many different things to many different people, right? It's, it's your own worship. It's your own time to be with God. And so I've really learned how to connect with God, and worship is one of those ways for me. One of my favorite memories, uh, when it was actually last year when we did the Circle of Worship, and just seeing a bunch of students come together, and uh, even adults too, who haven't even been to Mercy Students, Mercy Road, and just come together and worship God. I see myself using my talents in singing and being a worship leader uh, to bring others to Christ. And one of my biggest dreams and aspirations is to create a group, a band, and uh, travel around and share um, His message and the Word. That's all we have for your enter entertainment today, Carmel. Now let's send back to Ireland at the host desk. Thanks, guys. We'd like to wish a happy birthday to the following students whose names are listed below. Happy birthday, guys. Now it's time for your daily announcements. Fellowship of Christian Athletes will meet Friday morning at 8.15 in the freshman cafeteria. It's time for a plant party. Gardening Together will have a club meeting Monday, May 15th after school in A209. All are welcome. We will be preparing the plants in the greenhouse for the summer and celebrating an amazing year. Hope to see you there. CHS Honor Society members, the induction ceremony will take place on Tuesday, May 16th at 4.30 p.m. To attend, you must RSVP by Saturday, May 13th at tinyurl.com slash chsrsvp2023. If you have any questions, send us an email at carmelcshs at gmail.com. We can't wait to see you there. Pinnacle Yearbook Distribution is almost here. From Monday, May 15th through Thursday, May 18th, students can come to room C145 to pick up their yearbooks. Books will be available during SSRT and lunches and after school on May 16th and 17th. You must show a photo ID to get your book. See list of yearbook buyers in the cafeterias to ensure you've reserved your copy. Email yearbook advisor Mrs. Burke with any questions. Graduating seniors, please find your graduation ceremony seating assignment in the window of the activities office. Please take a picture of your seat number so that you have it at graduation. Seniors, we hope you enjoyed coffee and cookies provided by the PTO. The food drive continues in the commons. If you don't want to carry canned food up the trail, scan the QR code on the posters and donate money. Leave your legacy, class of 23. Today's winners are Ethan Cody, Riku Ghosh, Isaac Chalkley, Arisha Kirishi, Alex Zeitlin, Haley Moore, Shad Wilson, Mina Pullivan, Cole Matisson, and Leah Fredericks. That is all the announcements we have for you. Now let's send it over to in-studio announcements. Good morning, this is Zoe from A5. For the month of A, which is Asian American Heritage Month, we will be highlighting a notable Asian American on the announcements. Today's significant figure is Sammy Lee. 
Sammy Lee is the first Asian American man to win an Olympic gold medal for the U.S. and the first man to win back-to-back -back gold medals in the Olympic platform diving events. Born to Korean immigrant parents in California, Lee competed in the 1948 Olympics in London and the 1952 Olympics in Helsinki. Following Lee's impressive diving career, he helped to coach several U.S. Olympic divers, including Bob Webster, Greg Luganis, and Pat McCormick. Finally, A5 is having a end of year party on May 19th after school in the main cafeteria. Everyone is welcome and we'll have food, drinks, and fun activities. Hi, I'm Gabby and I'm here with the CHS Senate. So yesterday we celebrated nurse appreciation and today on behalf of all the senators, we would like to share our appreciation for all of the teachers here in this building. We appreciate all the things you do for us and we see all the work that you put in so that we can learn and become the best um, and most productive humans that we can be in this society. So thank you teachers. Now let's send it back to the hostess. Thank you. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at Carmel TV, follow us on YouTube at Carmel Television, and on Twitter at CHTV. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. I've been Ireland Jones with your CHTV News. Have a thoughtful Thursday, Greyhounds.